Yeah, Stephanie, the idea is to give kids a safe place to hang out and stay out of trouble so they don't go down the wrong path and eventually end up here at the Shelby County Jail. A spark of hope in the fight against crime. Every bit helps. A new community center in the heart of Raleigh. Where it's really needed. Designed to keep kids out of trouble by giving them fun, positive things to do. They want that. They need that. But it's like a village. Rachel Nolan runs the center near Yale and Romeo Road. It's been my dream ever since I was eight years old. And the dream comes true when it opens this weekend. We'll have karaoke nights here, nice rhythm and blues nights. Along with arts, crafts, and vocational classes. Building small business entrepreneurship. Something her teenage daughters Money and Samari know something about. They run this candle shop next door on top of tackling their schoolwork. It's always good to learn something new. And they intend to teach kids at the Center, with money offering courses on candle making while Sumari teaches cooking. Kids um, just really need things like that, especially like um, mentors. It seems now more than ever. The last few days in Memphis have been particularly violent, with several teenagers arrested for serious crimes, including a deadly shooting at this shopping center on Ridgeway. Police say two teens shot and killed another teen while he was taking out the trash at his fast food job. I've heard a mother cry. They cry when her child was not coming home. It's a cry you don't want to hear. Hoping this youth center will make those cries less frequent. I'm proud of what we're going to have here, what we're going to build. We've been giving it all gas, no breaks. Yeah, it'll be full speed ahead as the center holds its grand opening this Saturday. If you'd like to attend, we have details on our website, WRAG.com. Live downtown, Andrew Ellison, WRAG News, Channel 3.